Hey, welcome to the next episode of Good Creative Tutorials. This series is on Adobe Illustrator. Today I'm going to be showing you how to outline text and then create kind of a surreal look with the text by outlining it and then using the pucker and the bloat tool. All right, so it looks something like this. So this can be used in designs or if you're making a logo, identity design, any of those examples would work. So go ahead and go to File New and then click OK. I'm going to hide the artboards here and select the type tool, click and let go and then type out some text All right, and then choose the black selection arrow. Click and drag the edge there, hold shift to maintain the proportion if you want it, don't want it distorted. Then with the type tool I'm going to change the colors here, kind of a blue and an orange. All right. right now if I try to use the pucker or the bloat tool, it wouldn't work, right? What you have to do is select it, the selection arrow, right click over it, go to create outlines, and now we can actually add some effects to it. All right. So click and hold on to the width tool right here and go down to the pucker tool. And I'm going to double click and show you my settings. I have 200 point for this example. 50% intensity, detail to simplify uh, 50. You can kind of see what all the effects do if it's too strong, if you want a more gradual effect. But if I just click and let go, click and let go, click and let go, click and let go, click and let go. Then you click and hold. Instead of the pucker tool, let's go to the bloat tool and go to some of the other areas. And we want to kind of exaggerate it a little bit. So certain areas look like they're, it's almost like a depth perception here. Certain areas are kind of distorted back and then to the front and back. Kind of makes that unique look. All right, so we first outlined text and then we use the pucker and bloat. He's a useful way to quickly create this kind of uh, specific surreal look. Thanks.